Patrick Kielty gave Boris Johnson a 20-point lecture on maintaining peace in Northern Ireland in a throwback series of tweets attacking his plan for Brexit. Mr. Kielty returns to screens tonight with BBC One's Patrick Kielty, 100 Years of Union at 9pm. In the country's centenary year, the Northern Irish presenter explores how the trauma of Northern Ireland's past shapes its present. Mr. Kielty also discusses what the future may hold for the nation and the likelihood of a united Ireland. A new trade border in the Irish Sea has resulted in violent protests and sparked fear of a return to the troubles that plagued Northern Ireland and the Republic for much of the 20th century. Mr. Kielty's father was murdered by Ulster loyalists in 1988 after he was due to be a witness in a libel trial. In 2018, a year before he became Prime Minister Boris Johnson wrote his plan for a better Brexit, in The Telegraph. Mr. Kielty, who believed the Brexit deal proposed by Mr. Johnson could lead to the Northern Ireland peace deal falling apart, was quick to respond to the bamboozled politician. On Twitter Mr. Kielty wrote, Dear Mr. Johnson, there is no better Brexit deal when it comes to the Good Friday Agreement and Northern Ireland. As you still seem bamboozled by all this paddy wackery, here's a few pointers for your next stab in the dark. The comedian proceeded to give Mr. Johnson a 20-point lecture on Brexit and Northern Ireland. Mr. Kielty said, 1. Northern Ireland is made up of a majority of unionists, as in the Conservative and Unionist Party, and, believe it or not, a rather large minority of nationalists, as in Irish nationalists. He claimed that, inconveniently, Irish nationalists considered themselves Irish rather than British, and that for over 30 years unionists and nationalists killed each other because of these differences. He continued, 4. The Good Friday Agreement ended that violence by the following devious magic. Unionists were guaranteed that Northern Ireland would be part of the UK until the majority voted otherwise. The Irish border was removed and the island linked so nationalists could pretend they were already living in a united Ireland. Yes, Tony Blair did sleight of hand much better than you. 5. Some of these nationalists then accepted being part of the UK as their day-to-day -day lives were essentially Irish. 6. This cunning plan was sold to us on the basis that we were all part of the EU therefore fixation on nationality was so last World War. Mr. Kielty stressed that implementing the Good Friday Agreement had been tortuous, and 20 years on, Northern Ireland remained divided. Yet, he argued Brexit would cause even more division due to the economic border checks it would impose. He said, 9. If those checks take place between me and Ireland, the nationalists who were once happy being part of the UK will change their mind. 10. If they take place in the Irish Sea some unionists will be livid. However they'll still support being part of the UK, the clue is in the unionist bit. 11. Your Brexit lies have opened a Pandora's box for Northern Ireland. It's one reason why the majority of people in NEE voted to remain in the EU, almost as if they knew more about the fragile equilibrium of their politics than you. 12. Barely mentioned before Brexit, a border poll is now inevitable thanks to your monumental ignorance. Mr. Kielty claimed that in any eventual poll, the nationalists, once content as being part of Northern Ireland within the UK and EU, would vote to leave, so as to feel as Irish and European as possible. He also added that any breakup of the union would be Mr. Johnson's fault. The comic added, 16. The EU is not responsible for your blundering lack of foresight. Like most people in Northern Ireland they were happy with the status quo. 17. By the time the penny drops that you can't preserve the union you want without the one you don't, it will be too late. 18. You will be remembered not as the Churchillian visionary you delude yourself to be but the ignoramus who triggered the breakup of the UK. 19. If there's any justice all this will come to pass when you're Prime Minister so you can finally swim in the constitutional sewage you've created, though we all know you'll be in Nice with your trotters up. 20. Meantime, if you're so concerned about keeping Northern Ireland totally aligned with the rest of the UK where's your support for our same-sex marriage and women's right to choose? Your silence is deafening.
Northern Ireland remains a point of contention regarding Brexit, with the EU refusing to back down on the protocol, which has seen customs checks on the border between Northern Ireland. Tensions reached boiling point when the UK government warned the EU this week that it would not shy away from unilaterally suspending the protocol if an agreement was not met. Watch Patrick Keelty, 100 Years of Union tonight at 9 on BBC One.